Hello, Theo here from Widus, Texas Kitchen Recordings. Today I'm going to show you how to install a foot switch jack on your Vox Mini 5 rhythm amplifier. Okay, first of all, you're going to need some tools. As we look at these tools, you're going to need a, you're going to need a drill eventually. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. You're going to need a wire cutter, a soldering iron, a pair of pliers, some tools that uh, you may need also are um, some flux core solder, uh, a couple of screws, and uh, supplies you'll need wire for the patch. I used uh, some scavenger wire. You need two leads and it doesn't have to be very heavy. This is probably a 24 gauge wire. Here's some uh, very small speaker wire. That'll work. You need a jack, quarter jack, and you'll need a, um, this is a, uh, a step switch and you can build your, your uh, switch box out of that. We'll show you how that works. So you've got your tools. The first thing you want to do is you want on this box, and I've already cannibalized it. I've already cannibalized it. We'll show you. The Vox 5 is really neat. I really love these these things. But the problem with the Vox 5 rhythm was that if you're playing a small gig or a house concert and you're using this little thing, for one thing, it's facing away from you. That means you have to be looking at it in order to see the controls. The other thing is that it, it offers a bunch of rhythm opportunities, but you have to stop whatever you're playing in order to push the button to make it start or stop. We're going to install a foot switch that's going to start it or stop it once you've set it on your amplifier. So the first thing you need to do is you need to extract all the screws from your from the back of the the amplifier. I've already done that. Then that will give you access to what's inside. Inside we have the speaker, you have your electronics on top, the battery, a holder is in there and you also have um, the power source jack is screwed to this back of this lid so you'll have to unscrew that from the front of the lid uh, before you can move that out of the way. Now another thing I want you to know if you're not going to do what I'm going to show you um, in, in reworking this amplifier uh, you'll, you've got plenty of space here to drill your appropriate hole for the quarter jack, which would then be in the back of the unit. Okay. I'm going to move that unit. What I have done is I have taken another case and cannibalize the case in order to fit the amplifier. And the speaker is on that side. We've mounted it. And what you're going to do, we will open this up and take a look at it. When you're looking at the, at the switch for the rhythm, you identify that on your board. You can see that you have a button for the percussion right up here. Button is right there. And if we look on the inside, 
and I'm going to move this up. We notice that there are two, two spots that come through your, your board right there. And they are opposite that little button switch on the other side. What we do is we solder in our wire across those two button spots. The other end of the wire goes to the jack which I've mounted on the outside of the case. You can see the switch that I made for my um, my jam man. So we'll open it up. It's pretty simple. Jam man has some things that it wants you to do. And you can find the schematic for making a, a jam man also. But what we're interested in is that the central red switch on here, which is shown to the bottom, when it's pressed, when this is pressed with your foot, it closes the circuit between the two wires of your connecting cable that go in now to the jack that you've supplied for your Mini 5. To give you an idea how this works, 